Now we've established where the water comes from via the rising main into the house. Normally its first port of call is into the cupboard under the sink. Um, and it, the first tap that it feeds is normally the cold tap above the sink. So in this case, um, within, the, within the cupboard, we can see that the cold water feed comes in and it goes straight to the, the mixer tap above the sink, but this is the cold supply to that mixer. Now you can also see that not only is that pipe labeled cold supply to tap, there's also what's called an isolation valve on that pipe. Now current regulations insist that each supply to each tap in the property um, has the ability, ability to be isolated. So if anything goes wrong with each appliance, i.e. the tap or the system or whatever, you don't have to rush to your mains to turn it off, you can isolate the supply to each tap. Um, there's a section on DIY.turt for installing isolation, isolation valves or ball fix valves, uh, they're called in the trade. Um, and a screwdriver is needed to operate them. You simply insert a screwdriver, um, turn the screw once clockwise and it will shut off, or half a turn clockwise, and it will shut off the supply to that, um, to, to that pipe. Again, as you can see from our, um, our gas supply video, um, when, when the slot in the, in the valve itself is, to, is at 90 degrees to the pipe, i.e. is running across the pipe, that's when it's off. Um, so visually you could see um, that that slot is in fact a blade or something which cutting across the, the pipe um, and, uh, and shuts it off. Similarly, when the slot on the screw head is in line with the pipe, it allows the water to run through it. You just need a simple screwdriver to turn that uh, isolation valve on and off. Um, so that's how the cold supply works. It goes, in, uh, it goes straight to the, the, the cold tap. In this particular instance, there are um, T junctions from the cold supply and they feed on the right hand side of the unit. They feed the washing machine and the dishwasher. Um, so they are fed all off of the rising main, all at mains pressure. Uh, washing machines and dishwashers don't work on anything less than mains pressure um, so it's important that they are fed directly from the rising main. Um, this, this particular kitchen is a little more unusual than most in that the cold supply also feeds um, through the smaller pipes here a hot water tap. So the cold supply um, uh, this isn't just a, a, a hot water tap, this is also um, a filter tap. Um, we'll have a look at that when we go above the, the, the sink unit to the surface. So the cold supply um, is fed into a water filter. From the water filter it goes straight to the cold um, part of the, uh, the boiling water tap. Um, and another branch of the cold water is fed directly into the water heater itself. This water heats the water to 98 degrees, about as close to boiling. Actually, you can just hear it. That's a, a wonderful coincidence. So that the, the, the heater is on all of the time, thermostatically controlled. The cold water goes into the heater, the element heats the water to 98 degrees, and that is fed up, up to the, the boiling hot water tap above, to the, the hot boiling hot tap and the filter tap that we talked about. Um, the one on the left, obviously, is red, is boiling water, and it just works on a lever action. There's a slight delay, and you can see the water coming out of there is indeed boiling. So we don't need a kettle in this property. You simply put your coffee in your cup, run it under the boiling tap, and that's done. Similarly, if you want a drink of water and you prefer filtered water, just use the cold, and that water has been run through the filter that you saw down below. Um, the mixer tap that we talked about while we were down there is this little beauty here. Um, it's forward for hot in this case, on a pivot handle, and then back for cold, and pulled out to the supply. And you can see straight away that the cold is under mains pressure, whereas the hot is under tank pressure. That's the difference between the two. Quite easy to spot. So mains pressure, because it's come directly from the rising main, against tank pressure, 
quite a bit of difference. So that's the first port of call for the water as it comes into the property. Now we're going to move on to the downstairs system where we can see how that's fed um, and how it operates.